And legacy U.S. automaker Ford Motor Company is expecting to soon announce major jobs cuts following similar announcements from rival General Motors last week. An analyst at Morgan Stanley moved Ford stock down today with a research note predicting the carmaker would cut a total of 25,000 workers from their global payroll as part of the ongoing restructuring that the company was previously warned could cost as much as $18 billion over three to five years. A Ford spokesperson said any claim specific figure for the cuts, quote, at this point would be pure speculation. And speaking of autos, we move to talk about stocks and start with the auto sector and are most pleased to be joined by the most excellent Melissa Armo, the CEO of the Stock Switch. Melissa, welcome back. It's so great to see you. Uh, there was a lot of conversation around GM last week, and, and we now see the suggestions that Ford will also potentially lay off some workers. Uh, what do you make of GM and Ford? And let's take them one at a time. Start with GM, if you will. Well, GM has to do what it has to do. Ultimately, that stock is in a downtrend. It hasn't been performing that well. And if they need to lay people off to keep going, then that's what they're going to do. It's really not good, though, because the amount of people they have to lay off, as far as the American worker goes, it, you know, it, it, it's just a lot of people are going to lose their jobs, and that's very unfortunate. I don't know if it's poor leadership that they haven't been managing the company right or what. You know, there are two things that one, you know, uh, some folks said, look, uh, you know, they, they have an obligation. They were once bailed out by the government. They should keep afloat. But it was bad business decisions that got them into the circumstance that made them be uh, bailed out. So uh, perhaps that's not a good suggestion. And another interesting thing I heard somebody, uh, I don't know, a friend or somebody tell me, they said, look, it's a good time to lay people off at the holidays. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, that's what a horrible thing to say. But they're saying, look, yeah. people are around families. Uh, they get some time off. So who knows? But if you're one of those workers, it's not good good either either way uh, but the same thing could be true coming up in the next little bit of time with Ford what about Ford stock Melissa Listen, I don't think it's ever a good time to lay people off. People need to work. They need to work. And even though people can collect unemployment, uh, that's still, it's still better if people are at their jobs and at work. And these companies, all these auto companies, Ford, GM, all of these stocks are in a downtrend. Ford looks even worse than GM. Uh, Tesla looks the best out of these car companies than any of them. But part of that is that Tesla tries to innovate itself. And Ford and GM, they have not been doing the innovation that is necessary and required in today's day and age to make it, plus the poor leadership. Yeah, I was looking at uh, Ford GM and I think one other and looking at, you know, six, they're down on six months. They're down year to date. They're down for a year for the 52 weeks. So they're uh, just down. Yeah, they're just down, not 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 working very well. And, and uh, uh, hopefully something with this trade dispute could change and move things around. Uh, let's shift gears. I really I'm so excited to have you because I wanted to talk about markets in general uh, with you. Uh, we saw that sort of three down days at the beginning of the week last week. Then Jay Powell made these more dovish comments, Melissa, about, you know, maybe we weren't going to have as many rate increases going into next year. Uh, and then we had this announcement, this trade truce, whatever it is, deal or no deal that we talked about that uh, on, on Saturday. Uh, but now uh, U.S. Uh, markets are down big, 800 points today. My gosh. Huge I mean, today. Uh, big so, so what today. do you think that's about? Is it people saying there's no there there? Remember the old uh, Wendy's commercial, where's the beef? Is there any beef to this agreement? Is that it or is it something else? What do you think? There's a lot of reasons, I think, why the market sold off today. But let's go, let's just rewind back from previous last week into the, the big rally that we had after the Fed and then going into Friday and then the summit over the weekend. Th the, this, this rally that happened, the gap up that happened from Friday to Monday was the largest gap up that the S&P has ever, ever had. Now, even though we didn't hold it, there was still a lot of buying that came into the market. So I'm still bullish long term in the market. Now, that being said, Again, we did sell off big today. What does that mean? It means that the market is very volatile, and I think you're going to see increased volatility in the market in 2019. I think you're going to see more volatility in the market in 2019 than you have in 2018. And what do I mean? An example of the last two trading days where you get all this big buying, and then all of a sudden it sells off. And you might have the opposite happen. I'm not saying we're going to go anywhere Thursday or Friday in the market and flip around again after this kind of sell-up, but I'm saying that the market is affected greatly 
by what is happening with this world events with the tariffs. And what happened is in that summit, not an agreement per se, but a hold on the increased tariffs January 1st. So the market looked at that as positive. But then because there wasn't any agreement, we sold off. And there's also the scuttlebutt about what's happening with the murder of that gentleman from with, with Saudi Arabia. There's a lot of scuttlebutt out on that. And that also may have created some selling in the market. As far as the rates go with the Fed, you, people got to get used to it. The market has to get used to it. Fed is going to continue to increase the rates, whether it's in December, whether it's three times next year, whether it's four. The market has got to get used to the Fed raising rates, and I believe that it will. But the tariff thing is a problem. And any, any scuttlebutt with Saudi Arabia is a problem. Let me ask you one more question. I, I talk about a Santa Claus rally, and you sort of addressed it there, because there will be. I mean, everybody thinks there's going to be a rate increase. But we got the jobs numbers that are coming out. Uh, that may have something to do. But, but you think it's pretty much going to be volatility with some ups and downs? Or do you think there's a chance for a real prolonged rally as we go into the end of the year? We might have a pro prolonged rally, but what does that mean? It means we still could have volatility because it could be a rally that makes people think, oh, everything's lovely and roses, and then all of a sudden you have a day like today. So that's what volatility is. Volatility is the unexpected. People get comfortable and they think everything's great or they think everything's bad, and then the market flips around in the opposite direction. So what does this mean for 2019? It means that, yes, we could have a market rally in December. Do I think the market makes new highs? Probably not after the sell-off today. However, I do think the market makes new highs in 2019, but don't think it's going to be smooth trading in 2019. If you don't know what to do with your long-term investments, you better sit down with your financial advisor before January 1st and decide, because you don't want to sell out of any investments or quickly buy into any investments without having a plan of action, because you're going to see days like today and days like Monday, and you don't want to make decisions on the fly with your money. That's never a good decision. Yep, and, and one of the things I always remember for our surveillance meetings at the agency is there's a lot less volume, a lot less liquidity at these holiday times, and so you do see more volatility uh, during that time in market. Melissa Armo, we're so good to have you back. I uh, see you all the stock Thanks. swoosh. I uh, see you again, Melissa. See you Thank soon. you. Yes.